Today, we're diving into a serious topic, fatal bear attacks. While these incidents are rare, they are crucial to understand so you can stay safe in the great outdoors. You know, bears are pretty cool in movies and stuff, and for good reason. Growing up, bears look so big and awesome, and bear cubs, they're just super cute. That's why we like seeing them in all sorts of situations. But when it comes to grizzly bears, which are often called brown bears, we should always remember they're wild animals and they can be really dangerous. They can hurt or even kill a person in no time at all. So let's talk about some famous grizzly bear attacks. Welcome to Animal Attack Files, subscribe and let's dive in. Number 5. Tragic Bear Rampage at Liard River Hot Springs in British Columbia, Canada, the Liard River Hot Springs Provincial Park is a serene escape in the middle of a lush forest, attracting both locals and tourists seeking relaxation in its natural hot pools. However, on August 14, 1997, a family stopover took a terrifying turn. Patty McConnell and her two kids, on a road trip from Texas to Alaska, decided to take a break at the hot springs. As they explored the area, a peaceful moment turned into chaos when a large black bear suddenly appeared. The bear attacked Patty, leaving her badly injured. Patty's brave 13-year-old son, Kelly, tried to save his mother by kicking the bear and using a tree branch as a weapon. Despite his courageous efforts, the bear injured Kelly too, lifting him into the air before tossing him aside. Hearing their cries for help, a bystander named Ray Kitchen rushed to the scene and attempted to fend off the bear. Tragically, the bear attacked Ray with deadly force, resulting in a fatal injury to his neck. More people arrived to intervene, and two of them used hunting rifles to ultimately stop the rampaging bear. Despite her efforts, Patty McConnell succumbed to her injuries, but her young son Kelly miraculously survived. For their bravery, Kelly and Ray Kitchen were posthumously honoured with medals of courage from the Canadian government, recognising their extraordinary actions during this tragic bear rampage. Number 4. Tragic Polar Bear Attack on British Teenagers in Norway in 2011, a group of adventurous British teenagers embarked on a month-long Arctic expedition in Norway, hoping to witness the beauty of the polar bear in the stunning landscape of Svalbard. Little did they know that their encounter with these powerful creatures would turn into a tragedy, claiming the life of a 17-year-old boy with dreams of becoming a doctor. Horatio Chapel was among 80 students participating in an expedition organised by the British schools, Exploring Society. They were excited to explore the remote Arctic wilderness, make new friends, and study the impact of climate change on this pristine environment. Svalbard was known for its polar bear population, but the expedition's parents had been assured of safety measures. Participants were supposed to have pen flares to scare off bears, campsites with tripwires to trigger small explosive mines, and an adult group leader with a firearm. However, when the expedition began, they faced a stark reality. There weren't enough pen flares for everyone, and some tripwires malfunctioned. The firearm carried by Chapel's group leader was an old rifle, and the leaders weren't well trained to use it. Tragedy struck when a hungry polar bear entered Chapel's camp unnoticed while the teens slept. The bear tore through Chapel's tent, injuring one of his companions before fatally mauling Chapel, who was dragged from the tent. Four other members of the group were also seriously injured by the bear, including two adult leaders who struggled to use the rifle before finally taking down the desperate animal. This heartbreaking incident serves as a reminder of the unpredictable dangers of the wild and the importance of adequate safety preparations when venturing into polar bear territory. Number 3. The Tragic Fate of Grizzly Man Timothy Treadwell became known as the friend of grizzly bears in Alaska's Katmai National Park, where he formed a unique and incredibly close connection with these powerful and feared creatures. For 13 years, Treadwell spent his springs and summers in the park, capturing on film his playful interactions with wild grizzlies and giving them affectionate names like Crackers and Mr. Chocolate. Without former wildlife training or expertise, he considered himself a protector of the grizzlies and even became the subject of magazines and TV features. Tragically, his story took a horrifying turn. As portrayed in the 2005 documentary, Grizzly Man. The film tells the tale of how Treadwell's obsession with grizzlies led to a tragic ending. On October 5, 2003, a starving grizzly bear attacked and killed Treadwell and his girlfriend, Amy Huguenard, inside their tent. Number 2. The Terrifying Senkabetsu Brown Bear Attacks of 1915 
On the Japanese island of Hokkaido, there exists a formidable subspecies of a brown bear called the Yasuri, known for its potential to grow larger than grizzly bears and its deadly aggressiveness. Since 1962, Hokkaido has witnessed 86 recorded Yasuri bear attacks, with 33 of them resulting in fatalities. However, the most devastating bear attacks in Japanese history unfolded during a harrowing week in December 1915. A ravenous bear, awaking early from hibernation, embarked on a relentless killing spree in the remote outpost of Sankabetsu, leaving seven people dead, most of them women and children. This formidable bear, weighing a staggering 750 pounds and measuring nine feet in length, ruthlessly stalked its victims in their own homes. Even when the town organized an armed security squad, it proved unable to halt the almost daily attacks. The bear sustained multiple gunshot wounds, but continued to return for more victims, including a pregnant woman and an infant. Number 1. Night of the Grizzlies – Tragedy in Glacier National Park In the summer of 1967, the serene beauty of Montana's Glacier National Park was shattered by two tragic grizzly bear attacks that claimed the lives of two young women. Both 19 years old and working at lodges within the park, Julie Helgerson and Michelle Coons set out on overnight separate backpacking trips with friends on August 12. Unbeknownst to them, grizzly bears had been frequenting the park for weeks, lured by the remnants of food left by careless campers and even fed by tourists seeking photos. During the 1960s, there were no bear-proof garbage cans or many safety measures in US national parks to warn visitors about the presence of bears. Julie and Michelle, under a starry night sky, had no idea that their campsites were about to become targets for hungry and aggressive grizzlies. Julie and her friend were startled in the early morning hours when a large grizzly approached their sleeping bags. Despite attempting to play dead, the grizzly viciously attacked, injuring them both and dragging Julie away as she cried for help. Hours later, a search party found Julie severely wounded, but she tragically passed away before reaching the hospital. Michelle and her friends had more time to react, but the outcome was equally dreadful. While cooking dinner, their camp was raided by a grizzly. Believing the bear was no longer a threat, they moved to a nearby beach to spend the night. However, the bear returned at 4.30 am, and although her friends managed to climb trees for safety, Michelle suffered a brutal mauling, including the loss of her arm. She succumbed to her injuries before help could arrive. These horrifying events, documented in Jack Olson's 1969 book, Night of the Grizzlies, prompted significant policy changes in US national parks. Measures were implemented to prevent feeding wildlife, clear away trash, and close campsites and trails in areas where bear activity was detected, all aimed at reducing the risk of bear-human conflicts in this pristine natural environment. Be careful next time you see a bear. Thank you for watching. Follow for more.